This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. No sample iPhone app would be complete without some gesture control. And we can add the pinch gesture so that the user can simply pinch the display to open the flip side view. Now remember, we can use a subclass of UI Gesture Recognizer. In this case, UI Pinch Gesture Recognizer, which looks for pinching gestures involving two touches. Normally, when the user moves the two fingers toward each other, it means zoom out, and away from each other means zoom in. But in this case, I'm simply using a pinch to open the flip side view. Here we are again in the My World app, and we're going to want to add some code to the main view controller.m file, and in particular, the view did load method here. And we're going to add the code here, and we're going to use the UI pinch gesture recognizer to create the pinch gesture object. To do that, we use UI pinch gesture recognizer to allocate it and initialize with target self in the action at selector handle pinch gesture method which we have to add below, which we will do in a minute. And close paren, close bracket, semicolon. The init with target action method initializes the gesture recognizer object to use this handle pinch gesture method. Next, we want to add this pinch gesture object to the view using add gesture recognizer, which is an instance method that's part of UI gesture recognizer. So to do that, we do self view add gesture recognizer our pinch gesture close bracket semicolon and then we'll have to release pinch gesture since we've created it we own it we will have to send it the release message for good memory management okay now we want to add the handle pinch gesture method we're going to do that down here with the other ib action method so we're going to put this handle pinch gesture method here with IV action, handle pinch gesture. It's a subclass of UI gesture recognizer, and we put in our bracket. Here's what handle pinch gesture is going to do. First, it's going to log the string at quote. Notice we're repeating it here to be logged so that we can see it in the console. Dot scale. We are missing something here. We forgot to put in the end of the string. There we are. And this is wrong here. There we are. Now, we want to repeat that phrase here. That's just to log it. This is actually to do it. There we go. So what we are doing here is if the scale factor, which is relative to the points of the two touches and screen coordinates for the pinch gesture, is greater than one, the code will perform a show info to show the flip side view. So we code that here. If UI pinch gesture, recognizer, sender, scale greater than one then self show info id sender close bracket semicolon now we have our handle pinch gesture method here so if the scale factor relative to the points of the two touches in the screen coordinates for the pinch gesture is greater than one the code performs the show info and that shows the flip side view so now we have two ways to show the flip side view from the main view. We have a pinch gesture or a tap on the light info button. Coming up, we will be connecting the interface objects in the flip side view to the code using Interface Builder. And then we'll be testing the app to see how this pinch works and how the I button, the light info button works.